Welcome back to the Northridge 4x4 do-it-yourself garage. We've got our Gladiator project here. It's already got big lift, it's got big tires, and now it's time for big lights. And you can't get much bigger than this 52 inch light bar from Rigid. And don't worry, this Gladiator is a Rubicon, so it already has lockers. To mount that big light bar, we grabbed a set of the Z Rhodes A pillar LED light mounts. We had them color match the Sting Gray for this Gladiator pickup. And they mount right here on the A pillar on each side of the windshield. Gives us a perfect mounting place for that light bar. It also has a secondary set of light brackets. And on there, we're gonna mount a set of these rigid radiance pods. It's gonna be a lot of light, but let's get it installed. We need to install the trim plates on the light bar side of the upright mounts. We need an eighth inch hex and a three eighths inch wrench. Z roads include these sticky backed rubber gaskets and they're going to go on the back side of their mounts and stick down and it's what protects the paint on your Jeep from scratching from direct contact with the A pillar mounts. So line them up, make sure you know which ones go where and then peel and stick. Once you have the large base gaskets installed, you can install the smaller A-pillar gaskets, and there are four of them. So to start with, we need to remove these four bolts, and it takes a T40 bit. Now with the hardware out and the antenna gone, this cover plate comes right out. Now if you're gonna if you're gonna do wiring up this side to the light bar, this is the perfect time. You can tuck all the wiring right down in underneath this cover. Now we wanna hide the wires for all the lights. So we're gonna set the pod up here on top. This is that light harness we ran earlier. And we can just tuck it down in here. That way when we mount the light, we won't have the wire harness and the plug sticking up out where you could really see it. Now we can drop our aluminum spacers in and the next set on top. Six millimeter screws come through the top. The spacers to go under the sides and the screws for the sides. All right, now the other side. To help keep our rigid light bar from walking away, we're gonna use a rigid security hardware kit. Install our mounting bolt from the back side. This plastic lock washer drops in. Then we have our machine spacers, our outer washer, 
and then the rigid lock nuts which are similar to uh, like a locking lug nut for your wheels and you need to have the wrench that goes with it or the socket that goes with it and that'll lock it down and it's not so easy to just grab that with a pair of pliers or even a wrench to get it off and we're going to back that out just a little bit so when we set the light bar up we can just slide it right into the brackets and we'll do the other side Okay, so we got our rigid light bar installed, the radiance pods installed. Now we just gotta wire it in and see if they work. So we got this mess of wires coming down in. Our two black wires obviously are ground and they're gonna go right into the ground terminal right here on the inner fender. Our two red wires, this is gonna be our forward projecting LEDs. And then the two white wires, these are the backlit LEDs, and they're gonna go to one connector. So we just have one switch that turns them on. Now this Gladiator has the aux switch from the factory. So we've got the four switches down below, and it makes it super easy to wire things in. Reach down between the battery and the fender well and pull up, these are the aux wires. All right, switch number one is this brown with a pink stripe. Switch number two is green with a pink stripe. Switch number three is the orange with the pink stripe, and switch number four is the blue with the pink stripe. These are automatically fused to the switches in the dash. The first two, you can see they're a larger diameter wire. Those are fed by a 40 amp circuit. The two smaller wires, those are fed by a 15 amp circuit. We're gonna use the two larger wires to run the light bar and the radiance pods, and then just one of the smaller ones to run the backlit LEDs. To prep these, just cut these ends off. Strip them. And then they're ready for a terminal. If you need a little more room, feel free to peel back some more of this harness covering. Slip our terminals on. Give them a good crimp. A little shrink tubing over the top of the wires. Our radiance pods will go to switch number one. Always test your connectors. Okay, we have our switches, our AUG switches inside here. And before we can use them, we actually have to program them. We're gonna go into the apps section on our menu and we can work our way over to settings. We'll press settings. It's gonna ask us to start the vehicle or key on to access the menu. Push our start button. Now we go into settings and hit the down arrow once. You'll see at the bottom, AUG switches. And here's our four switches. So we kick switch number one, that's gonna control our pods. So now it's gonna say type, latching or momentary or mom switch. Latching means that when you depress the button, it's gonna stay on until you push that button again. A momentary switch, that'll be just like your horn switch. When you push the button, it'll stay on until you release the button. So of course we want these to stay on as long as we have the button pushed. We can choose our power source, whether we wanna have it battery, this is gonna be that the switch is live. You can turn it on at any time or with the ignition only. So the car has, the ignition has to be on for you to turn that light on. Enable the recalled last state. Now, if you have the lights on, shut the vehicle off, turn the vehicle back on, the lights will automatically come back on. If we unclick that, now if you have the lights on, shut the vehicle off, the lights will go off. When you sh turn the vehicle back on again, the lights will stay off. 
We can just go back, we can close out, and go back to our music station. And hey, now we're good to go. So let's try these lights out. Okay, so now we've got the lights installed, the lights are wired, and the switches are programmed. Engine is running, let's check this out. So we'll start out with the backlight. Now let's go to those pods. And last but not least, let's hit that big light bar. Wow, now that was bright. And that's what a good set of LED lights will get you. And Rigid, one of the best out there. We carry multiple brands, including the full line of Rigid lighting here at Northridge 4x4. We also carry those really cool Z Rhodes A pillar light mounts. You can find them all, links down below. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and stay tuned. We got lots more JT Gladiator Tech, JL Wrangler Tech, and even uh, JK Tech coming at you. So until next time, thanks Northridge Nation.